How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to some more Zerath content. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to a Zwag game, finding out if he's actually as good as Zerath as he says. If you don't know, my name is Hot Boy Zerath. I've reached Challenger the past three seasons playing Zerath mid and support, but mostly mid, and I peaked over 1000 LP. So my entire thing about this is to find out how good is he, how like, up to date is he with the meta, how aggressive, how passive he plays. And of course, I'm just going to critique it because I'm a Zerath player myself. I love some Zerath gameplay. So let's so get into it. Mid, which it is. Oh, he's facing a Nasus mid. He's so running he's first strike. Um, He doesn't show his runes. Let me go over say the runes for first strike. The main reason you cannot run first strike in high elo. It's not like you can't run it, but the reason why it's so weak currently it's just like you rely so much on your early game damage of your runes of the comet of the scourge you'll see that like i'm pretty sure like when he lands a building on this nasa nasa is a really really squishy champion like you can legitimately kill a nasa before you can even get an item based on runes but if you just let him stack for free especially running first strike you don't deal that extra damage i don't like this matchup because he just is going to be able to farm for free yeah eventually just outscaled me but yeah the thing is he's just completely correct and that's why first strike is kind of like a big mistake because first strike first strike isn't about getting gold early if you notice when you proc your first strike it honestly only gives you like seven gold which is kind of laughable like first strike only comes online when you complete your first item so it's, it's super strong like mid to late game rune but early game it doesn't do anything for you kill the rest of his team a lot of times that's why we're running as um support for the sole reason is like we don't need that super early game damage to do trades my damage. yep that's why i need the comment bud that's why we need the comment i don't know if he's running attack and he's not running attack speed which i like a lot of high elo like jukester he's like a thousand plus lp challenger zara player we all run attack speed in the mid lane just for you because uh for mac in terms of wave management it's really important to not get pushed in and attack speed is like the best way of doing that it looks like he's just purely farming just the atrox i thought i was against a tf the atrox unfortunately got the tf and tf top is like so busted apparently it counters atrox so yeah he's playing when the tf was op last patch but he's in for a rough one let me just say, Swag is my friend, so I love Swag. Don't get all riled up because, like, I play Zerath differently than he does. Actually, get riled it's up. It's a good thing I took first strike, so I get some money for poking him. I've been the rank one Zerath for the past three years. And really awkward time for me to check bot. Yeah. Okay. That's really good. This is why it's so good to use macro keys. If you notice why I clicked on this map, a lot of like really high yield players, it's really good to be able, like I use ZXCV on my keyboard to be able to cycle through my lander. Like Z is my top, X is my jungler because you want to be quickly be able to check on your jungler, top lane, bot lane, especially as a Zura and not use that extra three seconds. Um, not three seconds kind of extreme. That extra two seconds to move your mouse across your monitor and click on the mini map. Like, when you're pushing the top rings, that stuff is really important. And also think, I'm just going to go back a little bit. He's like, he's like, he's going to ward when he doesn't even crash the wave. Like, he's warding right now, which is kind of like a weird time. Like, it is, I mean, I guess three minutes. Like, normally you want to do a two wave crash. But, like, if you're going to do a three wave crash, like, you need to hard push it. Like, you need to commit to it, because you're just letting NASA skip farm for free. He's not even under turret. This is hurting you in the long run. Yeah, I get the wave into turret. Yeah. Because, like, right now, like, even though, like, with such a low level right now, Nunu has a fast respawn. So Nunu can actually just come straight back and snowball him down mid. So, he like, he shouldn't ever be pushed up this far especially such an aggressive um jungler he should be right now the second it crashes that's when you want to ward so like you would want to be rewarding like right here so you know when uh nunu is snowballing or below him because you just need to know that he's coming in because Zerath can actually get out nunu games quite easily with his stun because it's very straightforward 
Yeah, you lost XP because you went to ward when it's a full wave. Must have missed a minion somehow. Yeah. He warded at the wrong time. I kind of got a reset. I want to know what his secondary. I think his secondary is probably like mana flow scorch. Oh yeah, I can see the mana flow, but I wonder what is. Yeah, it's probably scorch. Show runes, rage. Show runes. Yeah. The thing is also, especially versus uh, Nasus or just in general, Zerath really power spikes on his first back when at like you want to back with about eight fifty. Uh, which he could sell his health potions to get to, but you want to go Amptome, Darksteel, and then really start poking at this Nasus. Because, like, if you just let this guy free farm, he's just going to run you down. You're going to have major issues. But, I mean, you do have a Nami and Udyr, so it may not be that big of a problem. But the longer you just let a Nasus in lane free farming, like, this is a huge problem for his team. Not only just him, but his team overall. Like, Nasus is just having a field day because Zerath has no mana. Look at his getting free stacks on there. He has it frozen. All only thing Nasus has to do would be like, yo, uh, Nunu, come gank this guy. He's overextending. Because Zwag is very much overextending. Like, he has flash, but Nunu can run him down, especially with the Nasus. Like, a Nasus slow has a high potential of, like, making the gank successful. Like, he needs to hurry up and crashes. Yeah, he's missing a lot of farm. And see, he's if this Nasus is good, especially in high elo, guess what he's doing, guys? He's freezing the wave. Because he knows that there's nothing he can do. So again, like, for me on this bag, especially with 1100 gold, would be Amptome, Dark Seal, and Boots. That's like 1100 gold or 1150. You can sell maybe, like, Boots. But you need the mobility to be able to get out ganks to um, kite the Nasus, make sure he's not good to you. The extra, like, um, what do you call it? Revolvers, like, hex plate, is, it's decent. It is strong. But, like, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, he's changing up his buy. Yeah, double. So, like, he had the right idea. Okay, he can't buy boots because he has first strike. Sorry, I forget because, like, I don't run first strike. So, yeah, it would definitely be, like, a double amp tone dark seal angle. Like right now, look at it. He has 342 gold. Like, there's no reason not to get Dark Seal as Zerath because he's such a save and pass. He's able to get out every, not like get out of situations, but like you're able to position to be like, oh, the fight's going back. We can just leave because we're hitting from so far away. So it's so easy to get a uh, Dark Seal stacks yeah. and keep them. Like, you don't need to upgrade them, but like, if you are like snowballing, getting crazy far ahead, it is an option to go uh, Mage Eyes. You should notice he's doing a lot more damage with this buy. Um, he's able to punish the Nasus a little bit, but I sometimes like letting a Nasus free farm for this long. Like Nasus is at 45 CS. Okay, in like this type of situation, so he knows Nasus is back. I think Nasus has TP. He has an option to either try to hard crash it before he gets back to lane or just freeze it. He did have an extra minion, so he probably could have froze it. But, like, we'll he's pushing up pretty really aggressively. Yeah, you kind of have to reset. So, like, he kind of just, like, TP'd for almost no reason. He can't even get Lost Chapter. Yeah, because Lost Chapter is 800 gold. As you know, once you get Lost Chapter, especially early on, you're able to stay in lane for as long as possible. Yeah, Zwag, I mean, Zwag's like, he's like, oh, he's just scaling, but that's his win condition. It's like a Kasten, it's like a Kale. He just wants a free farm. You need to punish him early. You can't just, like, you can punish him so hard as a Zerath if you go common Scorch. And if you really want to go for the kills, you can go uh, Cheap Shot with your Domination runes. Because, like, my runes is Comet, Mana Flow, Absolute Focus, Scorch. And then you go Eyeball Collector with Ultimate Hunter, or instead of Eyeball Collector, you can go Cheap Shot Ultimate Hunter. Oh, you didn't have Flash Rip. Yeah, see, now that Janna gets the Perma on, while my bot lane still loses. Yeah, so one of the big things, like, Zwag needs to realize is, A, like, his wave management, he should be always perfect. Perfect CS by far, but he's missing a lot of CS by not controlling his own wave. 
But also the thing with NASA is like this guy doesn't can't roam. Because his win condition is just getting perfect CS and just farming. Zwag needs to constantly look top and look bot every single time his ult is up. And that's why we run Ultimate Hunter and Malignus as our items to bring our ulti cooldown from like 130 seconds at level 6 all the way down to 70 seconds, which is a ginormous cooldown reduction because we want to impact bot as much as possible. Top, not so much. To me, it's more important to affect bot lane because if bot lane wins, that's like having two people win. And what's fun is we also get outscaled this game. Well, maybe not if Smolder, but Smolder's never gonna No, be Smolder good. outscales everything. Smolder isn't one of God tier champions right now. <laughs> yeah, he would benefit so much from running attack speed runes. Mm -hmm. I need an Oblivion Orb and... A lot of times, like, you see how he did, he did a Shallow Ward right here? This is just, to me, this is laziness because I kind of do it too. You should always put this farther out to give you more vision. It can show you so much more than just putting in that bush. Because, like I said, you need to find that new new snowballing in early on so you can put, your in a, put yourself in a position to um, stun him and just get out. But if you, if you see it too late, it's over. Yeah, see, this is like also with mages. Like when we're facing, like if you're not playing Zero, you're playing like Yasuo or stuff like that. You could, and like they're just uh, getting perfect farm under tower, or they're just freezing before the tower. You need to have your wave management because they'll naturally push, especially when it's on their side. But if you're just like spamming your abilities and pushing it in and not making sure it crashes, you're hurting yourself. Because this guy's just getting perfect farm and he's so happy. Like, Zwag's down, if I, once he presses tab and see his farm again, I think he's down over 15 CS, which is not okay. So with, so him walking up like this means Nunu's probably above him. So you saw how, like, it was kind of, like, too late. You saw how he had no reaction time to, like, stun the Nunu, because he couldn't see the Nunu coming because he didn't have a ward above him. Like, you can either be like, I hug bot side because I have bottom side warded, but you can't hug or be pushed up against a Nunu like this without vision. Like, it's just grief. It's more like grief to me that I think Nunu's playing more for bots right now because he just wants Lucian and Giga far ahead, but like, Zwag is so out of place. He's pushing up for no reason. Like, this, he should honestly have already died like three times, if not more. Yeah, but like, see, he's saying there's nothing he can do, but the that's that's like a kind of a bad attitude to have because like there is something you can do. You can freeze the wave mid or keep it even, let NASA's push into you, and have proper rewards and hug the correct side of the lane to make sure Nunu can never gank you because he should never be he should never miss a stun on a Nunu because it's he, Nunu can't just like oh I'm just gonna turn right, like he, it's a very slow turn and it's very easy to predict. And like I said, we saw, like, if I go back right here with this Nasus, guys, I knew exactly, like, I called it out, he's being ganked. No, like, what has Nasus been doing this entire time? He's been freezing. He's been freezing. But, like, look how he aggressively walks up right here. Wait for it. Right here. And he walks back. That right there, in any high elo player's eye, should be like, oh my god, I'm about to get ganked. Because for no reason is... Uh, as Nas is walking up with 60% health, with the entire time, his entire habits have been that, like, he's just farming. So Zwag should right now not be charging Q. He should be like, oh crap, something is up. Where don't I have warded? Okay, bot lane's, oh, like, blow me's warded. So I know blows me safe. Or potentially coming in. But of course, here he comes. And since he didn't have much reaction and he's charging Q, he, pan he panicked Eid. Like, it was close, but he did panic. And they could dive him. Honestly, I think they made a mistake by not diving him. Nunuko's easily tanked it, and NASA, if he pressed R and Q twice, would kill Nat would kill Zerath. I will say this is really good. So you can always tell 
with like good Zera players. For whatever reason, bad Zera players, if people don't play Zera, watch what Zwag does first when he's setting up a play, especially with Nami. What does he do first? He presses W. You set up every play that ever happens with your W. We don't just throw E. We don't just throw Q. We set up, We set it up. We throw the W, slow them to try to get a guaranteed E or a guaranteed Q. Now he missed and he had to walk back into him, but you that's what you have to do to be more guaranteed. I'm sorry. So he sees a fight above him, instantly helped him. What is that Nunu doing? So I will say, so like, with this fight, as a Zerath, anytime a fight instantly starts, you ulti at the start. I know Nuna's low, but hypothetically speaking, even if this Nuna wasn't low, but there's a full-on 2v2 fight, or there's a full-on, like, committed fight, as a Zerath player, we ulti at the start of the fight. We're not a Karthus. We're not ulting to get, uh, execute people. We want to ulti to guarantee the damage and to get them low for our teammates. Aatrox probably gonna die too. Actually, he's doing a lot of damage. Third Q, maybe? Oh, yeah. A great way to lose my lane for me. He has no mana. And this is what the scary part is, is like, since Nas has been free farming right now, this Nas is pretty strong right now. This man has 78 CS. Uh, I can't see the timestamp. 12 minutes. You have more CS, honestly. Yeah, so like now he's gonna be up probably like 20 CS once he gets that. Dude, Lucio almost lost that. So 86 to 72. Yeah, Nasus has near perfection, which should never happen. Like, you should be pressuring him off the waves. So he's backing, backing. Oh, he's trying to save up for Ludens. Okay, so. Like I said it before, kind of what my first item is. My first item is, is Malignus. Because it you get 25 ultimate haste and it's 200 gold cheaper, you do get 15 less AP, but the Zerath is an ultimate bot. He is a Karthus. He's a late game god. And like a playmaker in the early game. The shorter you can have your cooldown, the more plays you're able to make. Scam of the game. But if you notice, like, the only play Zwag has done, he's just quite literally kind of farm, gotten ganked once, and that's all he's done. He hasn't impacted bot. So, like, the best thing about Zerath to win your games in mid lane is to, every single time your ulti is up, is either help your jungler with your ulti to get to plays faster, but realistically, is we're making plays in the bot lane. Like, every time we're ulti up, we're walking right about where Nami is right now. And going right there when you push in the wave and try to see if you can make a play bot. Because once you're sitting right there, your ulti can reach bot lane. And then we can head back mid without losing a single wave. Like, it's just that easy. Where you can impact bot without losing a single wave. Have I ever bought reviewed Dukesters? No. Six and one Lucian is not worth a bounty. Well, he's not worth a bounty because they they got the there he cashed it in. And guys, if you enjoyed, do enjoy these types of reaction to me reacting to to some other Zerath content. Nasty make sure you leave a like, me. leave a comment down below what Maybe you want to see me like react to next. Yeah, nice. He was able to stun him. And he's dead. Yep. I really got to play the game, guys. At least that's why I took TP, so I just can TP back. There's nothing I can do. I'm hard counter. What's your build of Malignus? So I have, like, kind of two or three kind of, like, routes I go. The main build I do is Malignus into Crystal Rhylites to make sure your ulti uh, puts a slow on them to A, help you pick them out, and A, you can guarantee land every single R. 
Option B is with the Dark Seal. If you're really far ahead early and packing a lot, you have a lot of Dark Seal stacks, you can upgrade that and go for a hyper carry build where you go Malignus, Mage Eyes, really Death Cap, and then Void Staff. Super high damage, but very risky. Um, and then like you can do another also, one where there's like Malignus Leon's raise like, is pretty like, good. Uh, yeah. Death Cap, Void Staff, and Crystal Rileys. There's always normally like Crystal Rileys somewhere in the build. Like, how are my stuns not hitting? Okay. How are these new new snowballs not hitting? What is this guy doing? He just needs to turn. He could have killed Zwag right there. Nasus, we're just not going to be able to kill Nasus late game. What is Janna doing? Anybody who gets Dude, they're griefing. He's actually the most broken champion in the game, I feel. Yeah, Nuno's drift license needs to be suspended. Like, I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, he's dead. Unironically. Bro, no way he has ult again. Why is Nasus chasing this? He's actually killing. Yeah, he's actually killing. Yeah, he has too many stacks. That's the thing. You cannot let a Nasus free stack like this. It, it's just what happens. It's not that he's counter picked. I, I like strongly believe he played the lane wrong, in high elo. Yep, he just got bonked. I'm curious what he builds second item, versus this. And like honestly, you know what's crazy? Nasus is disrespecting the Nas. He's disrespecting Zura so much. Like, dude, he went cooldown boots. Now, like, for top lane and stuff like that, by all means, like, you see cooldown boots a lot. But, like, a lot of times, like, I face a Nasus where, like, all the Nasus I face are forced to go Merc Treads. They go Merc Treads to just survive laning phase. Because they can't. Because you, you just bully them out. He's just disrespecting, like, yo, this Zwag hasn't done anything to me. I'm, I'm just going to go cooldown boots and farm my ass off. He's up 14 farm. I'm not even safe under my turret. I literally get dove. Well, oh, that's what happened. Yeah. The thing is, like, a lot of time, guys, when you're like, oh, he's just counter. He's just counter. Realistically, he's not. There's some matchups where, like, if you play him wrong early game and you make the mistakes... They're just gonna run you over. It's like the same thing with Vladimir. A lot of people are like, oh, it's Vlad counts or Zerath. What have I told you? We destroy Vladimir's. Now, if you let him free farm and just like scale up to his first item without like getting a kill on him, stuff like that, not even like getting a kill on him without like bullying him out of lane, you're going to lose. He's going to outscale you and run you down. But like versus Nasus versus Vladimir, with these types of matchup, you can bully this matchup so hard that he'll never get to the point to where he can run you down. Never. But you can't just play permanently safe and let him free farm because you're going to, that's not your win condition for this. Like if he is playing in GM, like, that's why Zareth is such a dog shit champ. No, it's like, see, this this is just kind of like a losing mindset. They're like, oh, I'm countered. I'm going to lose. It's over. It's, there are ways to win this. I'm not saying that they're easy, but there's ways to play this lane. And this is why runes are so important because these types of situations, because we need to be aggressive. Oh, he because like, he's at the point now where like, yeah, he has five kill. Even if he didn't have five kills, Vasa could probably run him down with just on pure stacks. The only thing Zwa can do now is just clear waves. A mile back. That's all he can do. Bot lane's too far ahead. TF is scaling, like, my thing is, like, First Strike might carry him for the gold, but I'm kind of curious how he wins this game, because, like, in my eyes, this game's completely doomed. And so I kind of play this early game really poorly. I'm ready to see all those wag pan fans be angry with me. I hope you guys know I am doing this I mean, I out of really pure lose, educational yeah. purposes. I just can't kill this champ. Not to flame. I just want you to understand 
how these matchups are supposed to be played and how you should play these matchups. Cause like right now Zwag is making no impact on the map. Can't even get the blue None whatsoever. He is just purely farming. Oh, he can like play bot. Nice. This is the first time he's made to play, but like to me, like what time are we at? Like 15 minutes? I, I, I can't see once it stops moving. 15 minutes. But like this is his first time he impacted bot lane in 15 minutes. At level 11, like he should be able to impact a bot lane at least four times already with his ulti or helped his jungler out, but he hasn't like really used his ulti that much at all. Like he's having the same impact as a Nasus, but getting outscaled, but I don't see Nasus have more impact, which is kind of sad. Yeah, he can look Wait, at Nasus. If I ever want to play if I ever want to play Nasus, the enemy team will have like Vayne and whatever and shrug me, but every time I'm against Nasus, the champ just is has no counter. That's such a L the take. Literally has no counter when he's on against me. Dude, honestly, this Nasus and Nuno are awful. Like in high elo, these guys are playing terrible. Like he's ghosting for no reason. Nunu has missed like three snowballs for no reason. I mean, on the bright side, he has a Nami. If you guys don't know, the strongest combo you can ever do is Nami Zerath. Because what Nami does is she presses E on Zerath, and now Zerath R not only gets increased damage from the E, the... What's that item called? It's um Imperial Mandate. So it's increasing the damage by like 170 to 200 extra damage on every R, and it slows. It's so OP. Like you can hyper carry like any like anything. Like you should get anytime I have a Nami, I'm getting like Mage Eyes. I'm going my Malignus Mage Eyes because like once you can almost you can 100 to zero every 80 carry. If they don't have a dash, like Jano, I would be farming her with ultis. Don't forget the move speed is also super OP. Yeah, the Magi's move speed is really nice. This is also a pretty big mistake. You saw how you just E towards Janna? Like, he does have a Nami here, but like, what if Nunu came in? What if Nunu is ganking from above him? He's wasting his stun on a Janna. Where like, sure, he, he's not going to die here because Nunu isn't there. But hypothetically, if Nunu was there, he would die. Double Imperial Mandate? No, you shouldn't do that. He only procs once. And a nice stun. The Nami damage is kind of crazy with it. Yeah, see, nice shot by Nami. Still hits. Ulti, nice. Dude, the enemy team is griefing. Winner bull, winner bull. He's gonna outrun everyone. Fuck them. Like I said, I think the Nunu is griefing most of all. This Lucian is grief. Dude, what is he doing? I don't want to say this is like early season GM tactics, but it looks like early season GM tactics. Nobody hit him. There's so many bad plays and such bad macro going on. They're throwing like giga hard. Alright, what are you building? He's like, what are you building? What do you get? Don't do swarm search. Don't do it. I don't know what he's building, but he can like. Okay, like I said, this is first reaction to the video, but like, A, if you ever build Storm Search on Xerath, you're a griefer. 
Shadow Flame's like an okay pick. The only reason to like Shadow Flame's a little questionable is that it's extremely expensive. To be like, okay, I need Ludens, which is like 2,900, and then I need a 3,200 gold item. It's not 3,200 because he has Amtone right now, guys. Uh, 3,200 gold, and then a 3,600 gold item. So, like, it's just such an expensive build to go Shadow Flame, which normally, like, is pretty hard to get. So, like, he should be looking to be... be like, there's a couple options. You can either A, go Crystal Rhylize. Super cheap. It's 2,400 or like 2,600 gold. Very cheap item. He can go Crit Bloom to deal with the early magic uh, magic resist. I don't know if Nasset's had the early MR. I don't think he does. So he doesn't really need Crit Bloom. So he can either go Rhylize or Leandre's are probably the, the biggest, uh, best picks to go. Yeah. Shadow play. Like honestly, like if I had that much gold, it's kind of hard for me to be like, yeah, don't go Shadow Flame because he has the gold. Because like it does get Magic Pen. It's really strong when they're below 30% health. You'll deal 20% increased damage. Oh wait, but I saw something a like big mistake. Guys, what does he? Ha what do they have? This guy has a Spirit Facade. So this guy is never going to deal damage to this guy, and this guy is building MR. So, what would the best options to realistically get would probably be early magic pen. Now, you can be like, okay, I'm just going to throw a raw magic pen. And the thing is, like, you can only, in these team fights, you can only hit TF, Lucian, or Janna because you're going to heal these champions with your damage if you go hit. Flat magic pen is very bad versus MR. Very bad. Yep, he's hitting that. TF is getting run down. Nice. Really good Janet tornado. Holy crap. Do you guys see how much he hit that Nasus for? I need you to understand how strong this is. 236. Hit him for only 236. He did like 120th of this Nasus health. That dude is a griefer. Dude, the enemy team are griefers. There is no reason to win this game. They're gonna win this game because of Smolder. I mean, the game's not over, but they have three dragons at 19 minutes. And Nasa's getting so many stacks. Because, like, a lot of times, especially now, Lucian is griefing. Lucian is going bot lane and top lane for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Nasus, like the second like, that mid tower is dead or the bot lane takes their tower, they should swap. Because now Nasus can side lane and you cannot tell me who's going to match on Nasus right now. Especially when he let him free farm like this. Nasus is just going to split push because even with Udyr, like I don't even think Udyr and Zareth can 1v2 the Nasus right now with his MR. Because uh, Udyr went uh, Leandre's for magic damage. Like, there's no re- Like, this is such bad macro. It's, it's ungodly that this is considered GM. Oh, also late game, we get split pushed to death. He's saying late game, but realistically, that should be right now. Like, you have TF split push and NASA split push, which in, like, lower elo, 131 is so hard. Like, to pull off well, 131 is so hard, but GM Challenger, 131s is a, a, a insanely good strategy. Because, like, you just have them split push and you need the three people to push in mid and not oh, get yeah, caught. Just get those magic or those type of because who's... I, Aatrox can't deal with the TF, AD TF. Zerath can't deal with NASA's. And... So the only thing that's going to happen is like they're just going to split push and win if they do it well. Yeah, he has an early, early void pen. Very uh, like he needs a third item. Normally you would always go uh, death cap third item, but with how much MR he needs a void stab. It went so hard. Yeah, it's impossible. They don't have, the macro in D one is not good. It's terrible. It only works in like GM plus, and even then, it, a lot of times it like people fuck it up. He should also have a blue ward right now. Like, 
Like, dude, what is Lucian doing? Come on, block it for me. Hello? He gets caught out. Hello? No block? Dude, his ulti cooldown is so long. Just let it hit the MVP? Crazy. What the MVP? Big UDR. Dude, the enemy team is griefing. Oh, but Nasus is ungodly farmed. Boop. Boop. Oh, he almost cued her for her entire health. Oh my god. Honestly, I would have instantly ulted the. Uh... Yeah, what does that TF do? Dude, they're griefers in this game. What, dude, what is TF doing? What is this Elo? How is this GM? This is early season GM, isn't it? Need anti heal for Nasus. Dude, what is TF doing? He doesn't need to be the one hitting right. tower. NASA can just take tower and have no risk. He got hit by a Q and still auto attacking tower. Dude, I like. I so far back I hey, Zwag has no reason. Like, I'm, per I'm sure he posted this video because he won the game. He has no reason to win this game. Also, the enemy team has no fucking reason to win this game for throwing this game. Nudo's missed ungodly amount of snowballs. And this TF is just like, I, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting tilted from watching this game. It's crazy. The macro decision makings of this game is ungodly bad. Ungodly bad. But he's playing TF when TF is giga broken. But like, what was that decision making? I wish we would have kept it there and... But the thing is, is like, realistically, Z uh, like Zerath and Nami can hyper carry this game so easily if they play it together. And I think I know this Nami too. Like, see how she has uh, Imperial Mandate? The only thing Zwack has to do is hit TF, because he has no MR, super squishy, easy to kill. Hit Lucian, super squishy, no MR, easy to kill. And Janna. He can 100 to 0 them every single time and perma farm them. But he hasn't like no, I think Nami Nami's been waiting to do the combo with Zerath, but he's just he's not second Nasus withers me and runs at me, I'm dead. I don't have peel. If I can't stun him, even if I do stun him. It doesn't last long. Yeah, because like the thing is like you guys have to realize where like he's complaining that he's getting he's countered by Nasus in the mid late game. I'm trying to get the scoreboard. His primary goal and like every Zerath goal ever is you're not hitting tanks. We don't care about hitting tanks. Our entire goal is to hit squishies. We suck at killing tanks. There's nothing wrong with sucking at killing tanks, because guess what? Dude, you have a Smolder, you have an Udir, you have Atri. They can deal with tanks. They can deal with the front line. We don't need to hit the front line. We don't need to deal damage. We just need to kill these targets. These are the two most important targets to kill. Killing a Janna so she can't ulti in team fight. Killing a Lucian because he's he's a strong squishy AD carry. Killing a TF because he's a, a strong AD carry. Like those are your main targets. And you need to realize that, like, when you're looking at the enemy team, you need to be asking yourself, what is my win condition? Who is the most important person that I can kill and hit? Yep, now this is finally on the side wave. Dude, what is Lucian doing? Isn't it okay to go flat magic pen? See, that's smart. And that's actually completely correct, uh, Benson. Now, like, I don't think it's like, if you if they have like raw and, okay. To explain like, cause Benson brought up a great idea. If those are the two most important targets, isn't it okay just to go flat magic pen? Now, yes and no. You need to ask yourself like, do I need to do at least some damage to the front line 
because like my team can't deal with the front line now if your team can deal with the front line and they're not that big of an issue you can just go flat magic pen and just kill the carries now if your team is struggling to deal with their front line it is important to get flat mag uh, to get the percent magic pen to help deal with it you're not like the main way of dealing with it but just at least like your abilities do some damage to it are you saying he needs leandres no, I'm not saying he needs Leandre. I mean, I think Leandre is like, like I said, the a good second item versus their team would have been, I I think Leandre's would have been decent. I still think Rylize would have been better always second item to guarantee kill the squishies. But Leandre's would have been good. Because Leandre shreds like people with health. Wait, did that guy just type match him? Zerath matches Nasus. Dude, that's the biggest joke I've ever seen. <laughs> I I can't believe I read that. The only thing Zerath can do, like, if he does have to force to, like, match him at the tower, you just have to clear the wave. And you can't even get close to him. Because he will just run him down. Nice. So, okay. So, he doesn't have... Zerath doesn't have Rylize, but Udir does. So look at the slow. See how slow that... Oh, I think he used um, Randuins. I think it was Randuins. But like, you see how easy to hit targets when they're slowed? That's why Rylize is so OP on Zerath. I don't see how he wins this game. Yikes. They just walk out of every ability. Dude, like, this Lucian dashing forward is crazy to me. Lucian not hitting tower is crazy to me. Get that for free. Give his pushing top. They should just reset for free. And Jonathan knows are pretty good. He's just clearing ways. Free is typical. Pretty boring. They're just no. I think you guys need to see this. There's not. There's not much it's like happening. They're just clearing ways because of inhib. He's playing with his team with Smolder to cover him. Like, Zerath should never be alone. You should never be in side lane by yourself, unless it's, like, at tower. Did do miss the snowball again? He should be building death cap. Yep, he's going for death cap. So this is, like, see how Zwag is going? This is right. Like, see how he's going to when the wave is just getting to tower? Like, you should only be in side lane to soak waves when they get to tower. Because you can't push out, because you'll get caught out. Why isn't Zerath normally isn't picked in pro play for the sole reason that he's not guaranteed damage. Now, if he was super strong, they pick him. But for the majority of the reason, Zerath is not picked in pro play because you much rather have guaranteed damage. Because guess what? If a Zerath is 10 and 0, which I'm not saying he's going to be 10 and 0 in pro play, even if he's super strong, if you can't lend your ability, he's going to do zero damage. And he's not a playmaker either. So we're like, Azir's consistent damage. Victor has consistent damage. Ryze has super consistent damage. We're like, they don't really need to land their abilities. Realistically, it's not even hard to land their abilities. Like, there's so many way, uh, more, like, safer and better playmaking mid laners than being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play a super immobile and non, like, guaranteed damage mid laner. Like it's just, it's just way riskier than they need to uh, than it needs to be. That's the only I, that, in my opinion, that's why he's not played. And I think that is a reason he's not played.
Well, that's the thing. Even though, like, we consider Victor E a skill shot, realistically, like, like I was saying, like, Rise Q, Victor E, those skills really, uh, realistically, are, like, more guaranteed to land. They're really easy to land. So, like, even though they are considered a skill shot, it's, it's not like it's hard to land them. It's not saying, like, a skin eats your Q. Nice. And see what he's doing right here? See, this... See, Anami came back and uh, eat him, but this is what he should be doing so much earlier on than saying that, like, we're at almost 30 minutes in the game. Like, the second Lucian dashes or Lucian's out of position, we should be instantly pressing R. This is, should not be to say, like, at 30 minutes in the game, like, oh, now I can do it. He could have done this a while ago. Janna should just press R. Yeah, damn, because, like, Imperial Nam uh, Imperial Mandate Zerath R is giga broken. You should be doing this way earlier on than, like, saving it till now. I mean, you should be doing it now, too, but you, 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 know, you know what I mean. He should also be with his team. Oh, my God. This Nunu's a griefer. I don't know who's a bigger griefer. Is TF a bigger griefer or Nuno a bigger griefer? Let me know down in the comments. It's crazy. Because now Smolder's online. You can't just let Smolder get to this, this late in the game 30 minutes. Because this man is going to shred everyone. Just disgustingly shred everyone. Because some people don't know about Smolder. What makes him so broken at 225 stacks is not his execute threshold his execute threshold is neat is like a bigger um collector or like a super mini elder that scales up normally like at max if you have like 400 stacks is like 10 percent execute but like you do percent true damage max hp so when you just press q on one target they will burn for like almost 10 percent in true damage I don't think you understand how wild true damage actually is because the only counter you have to true damage is having more health. That's the only counter. But saying that, that does AoE to his entire team because like if you cue the front target and those three projectiles hits the people behind them, they all are burning for percent true max HP. So like a Nasus who has all of these items full build Smolder can quite literally, probably at this point, if he has 225 stacks, almost four shot a Nasus. Yeah. It's that crazy. And the thing with Zerath is like a lot of like okay Zerath players can get away with like oh doing nothing in the early game, but it feels like so coin flip. Like this is such a coin flip game, I feel like. Yep, he has a Nami E. See the mandate? And Lucian like, legitimately, Lucian Janna should never be able to play this game versus Nas uh, versus Zerath. Never. Cause this Lucian is just out of place always. And look at okay, you guys see this? Look at this smolder. When he presses Q, you see how it spreads? Is not execute threshold? These guys are burning so much. I'm so fucking good, of course they live. Dude! Dude! Come Dude. on, Riot! Three people, one HP of Shadow Flames should execute. Shadow Flame doesn't execute, by the way. We all know this, right? Shadow Flame just increases your damage by 20% when they're below 35% health. Like, we're, it's not a collector. Oh. What the fuck, man? We would have won the game right there if any of them died. Eh, I don't know about winning the game, though. Yes, that's cap, big power spike. I kind of wish he showed how much gold he's getting. Because, like, right now, 
Every combo he does is probably go print him like an extra like 80 gold. If he wq someone right now, he can probably print 80 gold on first strike. Oh no, is TF go to overforce? Is Nunu go land something? Yo, what is Nunu doing? What is TF doing? Smolder's online. Unironically, I think if they face... If they didn't have Smolder on their team... Like, you saw Smolder literally got a triple kill. This is like the scaling destruction of Smolder. Like, I can't see the team fight, which like, to me, this is like bad camera movement because we should be able to see the fight. We, we need to see help bars. But Smolder is literally just spamming Q and shredding a NASA's. Like, if they didn't have Smolder, I think they just win the game. Oh my God, man, they don't die. You guys selling good terms? Yeah, I'm a good terms, why, Swag. This is why I don't play this garbage champ. Like, I'm the best at him. But it... Yeah. It doesn't matter, man. Yeah. Like, I'm so fucking weak. Oh yeah. my god. You literally can't say anybody's better at Zareth than me than that. Yeah. After seeing this. I don't want to say that like Jukester is like 1400 LP. I haven't played much rank this season, but like I, I'm a thousand LP challenger. Trucks? <laughs> you wanted to give up? Dude, I hurt. But only to squish Please just end. Just give me. Dude, I actually solo won the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right guys <laughs> if you guys do enjoy this type of videos please leave a like comment down below what you want to see let me know do you think swag actually carry this game do you think swag is the greatest zero player of all time let me know down in the comments and peace